Hi, today we are going to discuss about how to configure DNP32 IEC6150 conversion on data concentrator. First, we'll look into the testing setup and followed by the configuration of a DNP3 master using EC Connect configuration utility and finally the mapping of DNP3 master to IEC6150 server. Consider a case where we have a SCADA system with IEC6150 client which need to communicate with a DNP3 TCP slave. Here comes the need for data concentrator. SYNC 3000 which is a high performance substation wrecked data concentrator converts the request from IEC6150 client to DNP3 protocol and transfer the data from DNP3 slave to IEC6150 client. For achieving the same, we load the corresponding ICD file to the data concentrator. Now let us see how to configure the data concentrator. For this, we use Calcutta configuration utility called EasyConnect. Model a SYNC 3000 M3 variant inside EasyConnect. Since downstream is a DNP3 slave, we first add a DNP3 TCP master. Then we map these points to IEC 6850 peer server so that the upstream SCADA system is able to get the data by polling IEC 6850 peer server on this side. Now click on DNP3 TCP master where the channel parameter window pops up. As you can see, all the channel details can be configured here. Specific details about each parameter can found by either clicking the help section or by right clicking to that particular parameter and selecting help where you will get the parameter name, optional values, default value and its corresponding description. Right click on the channel name and then click on add station. Here DNP3 protocol specific parameters like poll interval, class poll intervals and unsolicited reports enable and disable can be configured. Also, connectivity parameters like the IP address of remote and the port number can also be configured. Right click on the node to add a profile. All the data corresponding to the DNP3 slave can be given here. Click on add row and select the object type that is necessary onto the slave. As you can see, all the object types provided by the DNP3 standard can be configured here. Click on binary inputs with the starting point index of 1 and the number of points as 5. Click on save. As you can see, we have created a row with the binary input of value starting point index 1 with number of points 5. Now go back to protocol configuration and click on IEC 6850 peer server. Here a window pops up asking about the SCL file name and the IID name. Click on the browse button and select the ICD file that is already been created. Click on the IED name and select the access point name. For mapping, we need a node. So right click on the IEC 650 peer server and click on add station so that a node is created. Now let's see how the mapping need to be done. Here I have already created other data types like analog input, digital output, etc. Now select the slave node that needed to be mapped. So I am clicking IEC 61850 peer server node 1. Now to, there are two ways of mapping. One is to map each point individually using the add map button. The other is to auto map this points so that a sequential number of points are mapped directly. First click on the binary input and profile row and then click on add map. You can see a window pops up with the L device name which is the name that we have given to the ICD file. Click on that and then the L node name which corresponds to all the L nodes in that ICD file. I have configured some GGIOs in event 1 GGIO 1. So click on that. Then you can see all the GGIO points corresponding to the object type of binary input is listed here. EC Connect already takes care of the data type correlation so that binary inputs are mapped directly to binary input alone and analog inputs are mapped only to analog inputs. So select, click on any of these points that needed to be mapped and click on save. 
so that an point with the MMS tag of SPCSO1 STVAL has been mapped to this point. So any request coming to this point will result in fetching the data value of DNP3 binary input starting index 1 and replying with that value to the head end. Now consider the analog points. Click on add map. Select the L node again. As you can see, I have configured five number of analog points, but there are only one, two number of analog points in this particular GGIO. Select both and click on save. As you can see, these points are deferred only by the profile row offset. Profile row offset corresponding to the shift in the data point from the starting point index. So this point corresponds to analog input 10 and this point corresponds to analog input 11. In the same way, other data points can also be mapped by just modifying the profile row offset. As you can see, EC Connect automatically incremented the profile row offset so that the next point can be directly mapped. Profile row offset can also be manually edited to accommodate for the next point in this way. For a binary output command, if you click on add map, I have not configured any type of command points in this particular GGIO. So the GGIO tags will be empty here. But I have configured some command GGIO under command GGIO 05. So here the CT valves are listed. Click on that and click on save. Now let's look into the auto map feature. I have a binary input. I need to automatically map it to the particular point. Just click on auto map so that it will show the ST valves which is to be automatically mapped and then just click on OK so that that particular points are automatically mapped by the EC Connect and the mapping is successful. In this way, each data type and each data object types can be individually mapped to the IEC 61850 peer server and vice versa. So that's it from the protocol conversion from our area. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thank you.